What's up my bone builders? Okay, so today we're going to do what I call teasing the beetles. Uh, we've got a nice panther chameleon specimen that came, uh, is, is coming right out of the dermestids. Let me make sure I've got parts. Everything stayed together quite nicely. And there's a little piece of tail. I'm going to have to fix that when it's soaked. A couple of rando pieces of cartilage in here, but other than that, everything pretty much stayed together. So, I'll call this process teasing the beetles because I want to try to get as many of the dermestids out of the skeleton as I can so I don't kill them when I clean the skeleton, drown them, or, you know, if I put them in a hot solution, I don't want them to. I don't want them to suffer like that. That's pretty raw. All right, so I use a lot of small, cheapy paint brushes. You can get like the packs of 25 at the craft store. They're not really that high a quality, but they, they serve their purpose. They come in a bunch of different little sizes and uh, large sizes as well. So actually, let me get a better one for this because I'm gonna need to do some pokey pokes too. So I have this dissecting tool, which is probably one of my most commonly used tools for so, once you get them off, yeah, I broke one of the spinous processes right here when I was dissecting. I'm going to have to uh, make a new one out of clay or super glue or something. Alright, so get these guys out. Lizards have an open brain case, so the part where they're actual brain would be right here. There's really not much around it, save for a couple of wispy bone-like fragments. But they do not have a solid brain case in most cases. I can't say it is a universal general rule for lizards, but iguanas and varanids and chameleons that I've dissected do not have a closed brain case. So yeah, I just you try to evict these guys by giving them a little gentle nudge. The pointer comes in handy for that. So, when, once I set this piece aside, you might have a couple other little guys that filter out. I would love more than anything to run a wire up the spine to try to save as many individuals as I can, but the shape is just, it's, su it's in such good shape as it came out of the beetles. I'm really going to try to preserve as much of it as I possibly can. I'm even going to try to preserve the cartilage. You know, a lot of reptiles have, and amphibians have their skin, you know, very closely invested with their skull, the actual bone. So this will soften up and just peel right off in the uh, cleaning solution. So I'm just going to get a couple more stragglers, a couple of guys in the news. And that looks like it looks pretty good visibly. So I'm gonna go and put this guy, this part over there. If any other ones fall out, that's great. Hands, little skin, extra skin on there. Easy peasy. No real place for beetles to hide. Done. Other hand. Love these little zygodactylic hands. This is an. arm so the three digits will be on the inside so this is the right arm right here head that way oh yep look it, it's it's saved which is good 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 you could kind of you could fake these pretty easily but it's nice to save them you know it's nice to save some of the cartilaginous structures uh, this is the entoglossal uh, and uh, serratoglossal complex that makes up the tongue projection system, the kind of the, the hard part of the tongue projection system in the chameleon. It's pretty rad. All right, so, well, that's pretty much it. Um, do probably a time lapse of reconstruction, and uh, that's it for now. Just a, a simple, quick video. All right, see you later.